Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Oh, these straws are going to fall on me. Stay still, stay right there because I do not want to die in this video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be reacting to your guys' confessions because I asked you guys to send your confessions via Instagram and oh my god, I got loads and I have um, read a few of them and some of them are crazy like you guys do not want to miss this video because some of these confessions are crazy literally I cannot believe that um, these things have happened to some of you guys like it's literally crazy but um, yeah but anyway guys let's get on with the video right so let's load all the confessions up on my phone like I do have quite a few so um, like I'm sorry if I don't um, feature yours in the video. Like if you would like me to make a part two then comment down below and I'll make a part two for you guys. But my first confession that I found is my stepdad has been hitting me behind my mum's back but I'm too scared to tell her what do I do. Mm. Um, like if your stepdad is hitting you then you definitely need to tell your mum. Like I know like it could be scary um, like if he's being like abusive to you but he is your stepdad and um, obviously your mum will care about you a lot and she won't want you to get in any danger. I would definitely tell your mum maybe when like he's not in the house or something and just tell her and like if it is um, really bad get the police involved because then like the police can get him like on the records. Um, so definitely tell your mum. I am so sorry that um, this is happening to you by the way like oh my god. Next confession is Oh my god, I'm, I'm just reading it already. Oh, I accidentally left my back door open and my dog got out of the house. And now he has got my neighbour's dog pregnant and the owners do not know. Oh my god. You need to tell your your neighbours ASAP. Because like if you don't tell them, like they'll be wondering why like the dog um, like it's having all these contractions and like this baby's popping out with them like come on you need to tell your neighbours because otherwise it's like they'll just find like all these random puppies in the house and they'll be like what the hell is going on you need to tell your neighbour maybe like um, try to keep your dog in the house and like or maybe try to lock a gate or something like I don't know how like your dog escaped out the back door but you definitely need to keep an eye out and watch out for your dog and maybe try like to lock the gate or maybe try to get like a higher fence so, like it can't escape out the garden house oh my god that is a, a very bad <laughs> oh my god next one i met this boy on a night out and i ended up going to his that night now my mum has a new boyfriend and her boyfriend's son was the guy that i slept with on a night out oh my god so it's basically your oh my god oh my god so the guy who you got with is basically now your stepbrother. How awkward. Oh my god, I could not think of anything more awkward. Oh my god. That would be the worst thing ever. Like has he moved in with you? Like have they both moved in? Or like have you moved into their house? Oh my god, I could never think of anything more awkward. Oh my god, like I feel sorry for you. Like did you see him like after the night out? Or was it just like a one night thing? Because both ways it's still really awkward. Oh my god. I, oh my god, I feel sorry for you girl, honestly. Next confession. I'm only going out with my girlfriend because she is rich. Boy or girl, whoever you are. Money does not buy happiness. You should never go out with someone just because they've got like a lot of money. Money should not matter in a relationship. So you're only going out with your girlfriend because she has money. What the hell? I mean, like if you're both happy, then I suppose it's okay. But like if you're only going out with her for the money and you don't truly like her, then you should leave that relationship because you're basically using her for the money. And that is not good because money does not buy happiness. Money does not make you fall in love with whoever, you know. 
you know what I mean guys you need to think about that and think why you would only want to go out with her for the money because that is a very bad and you need to leave that relationship before it gets more serious you know what I mean that is really bad oh my god who could you imagine next confession my best friend has been constantly sending my boyfriend flirty messages but both my boyfriend and best friend don't know that I know about it oh my god your best friend is messaging your boyfriend that is a fake friend that is a snake you, no one should ever have a snake best friend if you have a snake best friend you need to confront them and tell them to do one no one should ever have a best friend that goes behind their friend's back because that is not a friend that is a snake and their enemy they should not be messaging your boyfriend and if your boyfriend is messaging their back then you should confront him as well and and ask him why he is replying to to your best friend and if he is um, sending flirty messages back i would 100 percent break up with him because once a cheat always a cheat i have always gone by that rule and your best friend has betrayed you you sh you deserve way better than that you deserve a way nicer best friend give me a message and i will be your friend because honestly you do not deserve that to happen to you in the slightest how could a best friend do that that is awful honestly message me and, and i'll be friends with you because uh, that is not a nice feeling oh my god and next confession when i turn all the lights off downstairs i run up to my room as fast as i can't really speak now um, when I turn off all the lights downstairs, I run up to my room as fast as I can because I'm scared that there is going to be a demon chasing me. Honestly, um, I do this as well. Lots of people do this. Like, I, um, like I've spoken to people and asked them if they do this, and a lot of people do this. It's like it's just something about turning lights off and running upstairs. It's like I don't know. Like it's just um, something that kind of scares you. This is even scarier when you're home alone because like you feel like someone could be breaking in your house or something. Um, but yes, I do this as well. Hands up, I do this. And yes, it can be scary actually. Next confession. I am 21 and I'm still a virgin. Honestly girl, you go you. There is um, no rush to sleep with someone, you know. To be honest, like a lot of people do regret um, losing their virginity to the person who they lost it to. Hands up, I do regret it. But you should wait until you are in a loving relationship and find the right person for you and you know don't be worried or scared to rush into things because that can be awful girl you're 21 you're still young oh my god this confession i am literally shocked right i stole one thousand pounds off my dad a month ago and he still doesn't know about it firstly stealing money off a family member is not on. Well, stealing money off anyone in general is not good. You should not be stealing money off anyone. And your family is even worse. Like, stealing money off your own dad. Oh my god, you need to behave yourself. <laughs> um, secondly, you need to tell him. Because he could find out and maybe like he could think that someone has broken into his banking account. Um, someone has broken into the house and stolen money. So you need to tell him before um, like he finds out and like it could concern him. So you need to tell your dad because if you don't, that there could be serious consequences. And you should owe him the money back. Because stealing money is just a no-go. Borrowing money is different, but stealing is just the wrong way to go about things. You need to tell your dad about this because it's not good. Okay? I'm telling you now. Go and tell your dad. <laughs> the final confession is, I want kids but my husband doesn't and it's putting a strain on our marriage. Oh my god, right. Um, well, like I'm pretty sure before you married him, like you had a chat about him having kids. Because you wanted kids, like I'm guessing you married the person because he wanted kids as well. So maybe his like opinion has changed on having kids. Maybe like he changed his mind, which is his choice, obviously. Um, you can't um, change that. 
but obviously like I've never been in this uh, situation before so this is quite hard for me to answer but maybe like have a talk about it maybe like suggest uh, maybe like adopting a kid or something or maybe like convince him to try and think about um, having kids maybe because you've married this guy uh, and you obviously both love each other and when you love someone like you do respect them because like you know like you love them um, so oh god this is really hard to answer actually maybe he's going through like a difficult time and maybe doesn't um, know what to do um, so just um, try to speak to him and ask him why like he's, like he's changed his mind maybe like he's going through like a stage of his life where he's struggling maybe so just try to talk to him so try to talk to him and try to convince him and maybe try to just um, support him because like he could be struggling you know but oh my god that's like a really hard one so guys this is the end of this video i really hope that you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel as well and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>